Hello, I'm Larson the Wolf, and this is Penumbra, Black Plague. Penumbra, Black Plague is a survival horror sequel to Penumbra Overture, which was published by Paradox Interactive and developed by Frictional Games, the creators of the Amnesia and Soma games. These games were released in 2008 for $10 on PC. Last year, I reviewed Penumbra Overture. In said review, I heavily criticized the game as it failed to be scary or mechanically competent with its sneak mechanics. I then excused a lot of the criticisms with the fact that the horror genre was very young at the time. In light of this, some of this review will reference that video, so I'll link it in the description down below. Black Plague is essentially the same gameplay style as Penumbra Overture and the Amnesia series. Black Plague has the exact same hiding system as Overture as well as the same physics system. The physics system is also shared with the Amnesia games, so if you're familiar with that, it's the same. This isn't surprising, since this is a sequel to Overture, it's using literally the exact same engine. Frictional Games also uses the same gameplay formula. There are two hub areas in which to explore and hide from monsters, as well as collect items and solve puzzles along the way. The hub area connects you to around four or five different rooms unto themselves. It should also be noted that there are short transitional areas between the two hubs that house puzzles as well. The puzzles, both traditional and physics based, were all acceptable, and not frustrating or cantankerous, like they were in Overture. As for enemy interactions, they were a measure better than they were in Overture. Not only do frictional games avoid the mistake of making killing an option to the enemies, but the patrolling enemies are much easier to avoid in alcoves and rooms, rather than hiding behind items and hoping they don't see you. When it came down to the nuts and bolts and the uniqueness of puzzles, they were actually quite varied and interesting, but I never really felt like they were very moon logic. Black Plague managed to remain interesting when it wasn't scaring me. For 2008, this game looks pretty good. Mind you, horror benefits from the lack of lighting, but enemy design has changed to a humanoid creature complete with the scary cornerstone, a phallus, which is much scarier than the dogs in the very first entry. There isn't much else to say besides the game goes from an abandoned mineshaft to an abandoned lab in a mineshaft. Nothing in the aesthetic approach really stands out, the music is acceptable, slightly creepy, but not repetitive. The voice acting is as good, if not better, than Overture. There is much more of it, with three or four characters having voices, that I am pleased to report don't have any awful lines that take you out of the moment, which is always a gamble with low-budget horror games, or really low-budget games in general. Welcome to Shelter Research Station Greenland. Shelter is an almost entirely self-sufficient installation built in the 70s to further serve the purposes of the archaic elevated caste in their pursuit and defense of ancient knowledge. As a new member of the facility, there are some basic rules you should be aware of in order to be useful to the archaic. Shelter provides living facilities, including a mess hall, gymnasium, and medical bay, in addition to the stipulated array of laboratories, chemical and biological, workstations, excavation equipment, and security. Please use the former at your leisure, but expect to be assigned to the latter with a moment's notice. Second, due to the nature of our work here, should you feel in any way ill, lightheaded, or otherwise mentally incapacitated, do not report to the medical facility. Fasten yourself securely to whatever solid object may be available, attempt to seal all connecting doors, and await retrieval by our trained professionals. In a worst case scenario, be prepared to swallow your personal cyanide capsule, which will be issued after this briefing. The Archaic hates to lose its treasured staff, but it may be for the good of the operation. The story is leaps and bounds more interesting than the original Overture, with much more explanation on the nature of the disease that is affecting the rundown facility. The narrative goes into mind games with the player, causing you to question everything and every character. The ending of said game is a fantastic bait and switch that perfectly sets up the next game, showing that frictional games writers have skills that were underrepresented in Overture. I don't want to ruin too much, but it basically just starts out that after being knocked out in Overture, spoiler alert, you wake up in the underground research facility that has documented all they have done there. 
You soon meet a nice research lady on a computer that asks you to help her. Typical suspense and mystery is of course thrown into the game. Though off to a rough start in their first installment, Penumbra Black Plague is an exceptional first person survival horror game. One that has been forgotten for the most part by the general gaming audience when it was outshined by the Amnesia and Soma games. So, if you're looking for a great first person survival horror game, one that has both a creepy atmosphere, interesting monsters, and well designed puzzles, then Penumbra Black Plague is the game for you.